Um, welcome everybody. How are you doing today? It's so very nice to have you here. I have been thinking about you and I hope that you are doing well. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about trust. Because trust is such an important element when it comes to awakening, embodiment and freedom. And when I say trust, I really mean trust in presence, trust in our true nature, trust in what we know is true, trust in that inner movement that arises here in your heart, in presence, to be able to really, really trust that. Because, you know, a moment of full trust, and I have said that many, many many times before, a moment of full trust. If we were fully trusting presence right now, in this very moment, if we were fully trusting, that moment would be followed by awakening. And you know, so often we think that we do trust. As I thought when I went to see my teacher, I really thought that, but then it turned out I didn't. It turned out they were deeper patterns of conditioning where I didn't trust and I didn't trust what was arising here. And, you know, this is where the relationship with the teacher can be so important to really see through that or to really work through these experiences of the past or patterns of the past where we have developed some habits of not trusting what we know is true. You know, that's the very definition of the past, right? A movement away from what we know is true or the movement away from presence or the movement away from our true nature. So I want you to remember, I want you to remember for a moment a time when a movement arose within you to do something or to say something or to act in a certain way or not to act in a certain way, when there was that moment of clarity or knowing or an inner sense, an inner movement to be in a certain way, to do something in a certain way, and I want you to remember if you were able to follow that movement or if a moment later, you know, some other part of your experience conditioning arose and told you this is not okay or we can't do it this way or nobody's going to like that or whatever the, you know, interpretation or explanation of why we couldn't be like that arose as well. That original movement, that is our true nature. That is the pure expression of our true nature. That secondary movement, that is our past. That is our conditioning. You know, and so often out of habit, we believe that, we trust that. You know, and why is it so important, trust? You know, why is trust so important? Because when we trust, we can allow anything to arise. You know, when we trust, when we fully trust, and that also is connected in a way to our nervous system, and I will speak about this here in a moment, you know, to its ability to be here. But when we fully trust, we can allow for anything to be here, for any experience to be here, including the fear of death or dying which really is connected to our misidentification with the body or connected to our believing that we are this body exclusively. So important, right? To be able to allow anything that arises. And you know, so often also that sense of trust is connected to our nervous system's ability to be here. A nervous system that is not in good regulation, a nervous system that is impaired in some way, 
a nervous system that has experienced some or different kinds of trauma is going to have a harder time being here. And so viscerally, we are going to have a harder time experiencing trust or knowing trust in our experience. So we might even have these moments, you know, when we trust, when we know, yeah, this is, this is the movement. And yet when past arises, it takes over. And also sometimes we are just missing that simple knowing of trust because of how our nervous system and brain is, because of how our nervous systems have been affected by the experiences of the past. So I also want to remind you that we can, even right now, we can start right now. First of all, we can notice presence. Because that's the deepest moment of trust. You know, when we know that presence, our true nature, is already here. And you know, when movement from presence arises and when past arises to stop that, we can use our discrimination. That's what discrimination really is, to, to know the difference between past and present. So we can recognize past for what it really is. We can say, that's the past. And we can also help the nervous system to be here and to really allow us or, or help us to experience or to know trust in our own experience. And, you know, you can begin right now by just noticing the sensations in your body. Good, good, beautiful. Any, any level of sensation, you know, immediately there's going to be more relaxation or rest. And let's take another moment here to really enjoy that shift that happens when you are just present to what is. And that shift is a movement away from the past and into the present. And that means it's a movement of trust. So I will be speaking about this and about many other things as we start meeting this Sunday for our upcoming three week intensive and I want to invite you to join me.